Two years ago, it would have seemed like fantasy to imagine Aung San Suu Kyi and internationally acclaimed writers Vikram Seth and Jung Chang sitting around a table in Rangoon, talking about what books they would take to a desert island. It's only recently foreign writers and exile Burmese have been allowed into the country, says festival organizer Jane Hine. The, the visa issue. It was then, and even in some cases has been for this festival, quite difficult for participants, some of them, to obtain a visa. The festival hosted some 150 local and foreign writers who discussed formerly taboo topics, more evidence of how Burma's political change is affecting culture and the arts. Formerly blacklisted Burmese author Pascal Coutue, whose book, From the Land of Green Ghosts, was banned, is back home after more than 20 years in exile. He says this is the kind of event he has always fantasized about. The thing is it would inspire young people to write, I think, because they do read a lot, as far as I know, but they, they haven't got the confidence to write. He says literature and the arts are critical to what he calls normalization after decades of military rule. Government restrictions once made new books a rare treasure leaving libraries and schools without books and learning materials. Ban Thok Gong founded the Myanmar Book Center, which has imported English books since 1995. Import licenses and censorship once plagued his business, but he says he now looks forward to making education materials more available to Burmese people. As you might see, some, we are doing the book buffet here. That's one of our events. It's a charity book fair. We are raising funds, and after getting the fund, we buy back the Myanmar language books and donate to these village libraries. Festival organizers hope the event will be annual, should the government remain open, putting Burmese literature back on the map. This is VOA News reporting from Rangoon.